we're going to build a candy cane. We're going to use aluminum, eight feet long. It's one inch by one inch square with a thickness of 0 0.063 inches. Now we're taking the one by one square tubing and bending them 180 degrees. After we get it bent 180 degrees, then we start marking the holes. We put a grand total of 50 okay. of the WS2811 LEDs on them, so we just measured the length and divided it up and marked the holes. Now we're going to use a quarter inch drill bit to make a starter hole. The reason why we use multiple drill bits is so that we don't have the burrs in the metal that uh, if you try to drill it one time you got burrs and everything on the opposite side. So after we get it all clamped down, now we're going to re-drill all the holes. First hole we use is the quarter inch starter bit, then a 3 8 then a 7 16 and then on the front side you use a 12 millimeter. Make sure you use a 12 millimeter. And the back side we use 15 30 seconds. Now you take the WS2811s and shove them in the big hole, the 15 30 seconds, to the other side. After you get all the LEDs in, then just push the LED down. I modified a hemostats so that you can grab the 12 millimeter LED and actually just push it down into the slot and let it pop in. Here's a picture of the three candy canes. I actually built six. Uh, it was very difficult to take pictures of LEDs with my camera. It doesn't like it. So here's a night shot doing a test program which I was running red and white. And we actually use this in our Christmas display, which is over 200 foot long. And like I said, my camera doesn't like the LEDs because we live out in the country where it's really dark. And, you know, LEDs really freaks out my camera. And that display right there is around 200 feet long. The display's in the middle. Uh, that display in the middle is actually 8 feet high by 16 feet long. So you can get an idea how big this display is. So thank you for watching.